Good morning, boys and girls. Hi, welcome to When I Feel Like It O'Clock, when I do my videos, when I feel like it. Yeah. Um, I did manage my 13 naps yesterday. Uh, just got them in under the wire, but uh, I did manage. So I'm feeling a little more perky today. Feeling a little more rested. So that's good. Still looking for that psychiatrist that uh, I have thought I had, but apparently he told me I don't have one. It's for the voices in my head. But uh, so if you have any, write letters as I always love your letters. Like for instance, here's one letter from uh, Gerald Perkinson. Perkinson. Gerald Perkinson. Um, oh, used your picks for three days in a row lost my fucking ass you're an idiot why do you do this nobody's watching you nobody pays attention to you and uh you you have like no views you idiot see i love the i love your letters thank you gerald thank you for taking the time to write me such a uh, a well-informed well-read or well uh, uh studied letter to give me much needed advice. All right, uh, let's get to um, the picks for today. I also have to remind you that I do these picks uh, in the morning before I know who the goaltenders are uh, going to be. I'm just guessing on when the goaltenders are going to be. I'm quite often not correct. Uh, so that keeping a 90 percentile with the uh, without knowing who the goaltenders are 100% are going to be to me is rather impressive in my mind <laughs> but mm -hmm. so um, Obviously not in anybody else's because nobody watches but uh, as long as it's in my mind I can go with that uh, Let's go Boston versus Chicago um, I Just can't see Boston winning this game uh, Chicago it's at home Chicago's on fire. It doesn't seem to matter that Anisimov's not there. Um, they should be able to pick away at Boston's system of uh, uh, the system that they're playing right now. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to say 5 2 for Chicago. Uh, Isles versus Sabres. Um, I didn't. You know, Isles, I think, played last night, or did they? Oh, no, they didn't. But they're on the road. Um, and I really like, actually, I really do like the way the Sabres are playing right now. They just need some more D. Um, I'm going to say the Sabres because it's at home. I'm thinking that Laner is going to be in net. And as if you haven't heard or, or you haven't been watching my videos and why you haven't, I don't know why that would be. But um, if you haven't been watching them, I am very high on Laner. And I think they got it. Uh, an excellent goaltender there. I think he's going to be one of the, one of the best in the league. Um, so if he's in net, I think the Sabres will likely win that one. Not by a high score, though. I think it'll be like 3-1 uh, or something like that. Uh, Nashville and St. Louis. Well, Nashville went in a bit of a skid. They have been inconsistent. Um, but uh, Laviolette has a way of getting the best of his teams right when it needs to. That being said, St. Louis is on fire. Mike Yo is doing an amazing job after the Shattenkirk trade of getting these guys fired up and ready. They haven't been playing like this for a very long time. Um, kudos to you, Mike. And uh, I'm going to take St. Louis. I'm going to say something like 4-2. Uh, Canes versus the Pens. Uh, I really like the Canes, but uh, I can't see them getting by the Pens, even with the Pens injuries. Um, I picked the Capitals to win the Cup this year, but when pe the, when the Penguins get their injuries back, man, they're going to be hard to beat. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not as confident as I was beginning in the season. Let's put it that way. Uh, I'm going to say Penn's probably in 3-2. Uh, I think they'll just edge it out because the Canes are playing really well. Avs versus Mini. Uh, Mini's been inconsistent, but I think they're still going to be fine. I picked them to make the finals out of the West. And again, I'm not very confident with that because Chicago is playing unreal. But I'm going to take them to beat the Avs here, um, which most people probably would. So I'm going to say 4-1. Uh, Stars and Bolts. Bolts have everything to play for. Stars played last night, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, and they beat the Canes. 
I think there was a shutout, and that was one of the games that I got wrong. Who would have thought that Dallas would actually get a shutout? I don't even know who was in net, actually. I didn't even look it up, but I should. Um, that would say, being said, the Bolts just have too much to play for, and they've been playing hard, but they've been playing a lot. Uh, I think that's just going to, they'll just eke it out like 2-1. to one. Uh, But depending on who's in net, it could be like 5-1. So it's hard to say, but I'm going to say 2-1. to one. Uh, Caps versus the Jackets. Now this is one where I'm kind of going off the board here. Um, the Caps have been playing a lot recently. Uh, they're on the road. And j the Jackets played Chicago really tough. Um, uh, Tortorella has them right on the right page I believe um, so I'm gonna say the jackets here I'm gonna say like 3-2 it's I wouldn't bet on this at all I wouldn't bet on this game at all um, stay far far away from it the Sharks in Vancouver I'll take the Sharks 4-2 uh, Philly and the Rangers I wouldn't bet on this one either the Rangers have been extremely inconsistent and Philly is um, played last night so I'm going to take the Rangers 3-2, but the way Philly's been playing and the way the Rangers are playing, I could see that Philly been winning this. I would stay I would stay away from this one on betting. Uh Calgary Anaheim. Uh Calgary played last night. Or sorry, Anaheim played last night, and Calgary is looking uh just really, really good right now. Um I Anaheim is up and down. I think uh, Carlisle hasn't playing the best that they can get, but uh, I think Calgary will probably win this. Uh, I'll say 4-3. And Arizona versus the Kings. Nobody really cares who wins this game, not even them. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say the Kings 2-1, but if I'm wrong, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I wouldn't bet on this game. Okay. Anyways... Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning into this fine programming. If you would like to see more fine programming such as this, you could head to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom on the YouTube and uh, check out some of my check out. There's one called Spanking Gary Bettman. It's really short. Should get a laugh out of it. And uh, I'm going to be doing one here right away. Um, I haven't decided which one it's going to be, either on Gardner in Toronto or uh, Snow in, on the island. Um, both of them, I think, are getting uh, unfairly treated. Make sure you're well lubed, everybody. Jaime's Body Lube, it's the best. There, I said it. Lots of love to you. Have a great day.